In this chapter, we're going to be talking about metabolic alkalosis. As a quick overview, this chapter will focus on determination of the primary acid-base disturbance, the compensatory mechanism for the acid-base disturbance, determining the adequacy of the compensatory mechanism, causes, and treatment for the acid-base disturbance. Suppose after having performed a thorough history and physical examination of our patient, we take Take a look at the patient's lab values, and the lab values reveal an increase in both the pH and the bicarb concentration. We know based upon an increase in both the pH and the bicarb that there's an underlying condition leading to primary metabolic alkalosis. We can see from the illustration the increase in both the pH and an increase in the bicarb concentration correlates with a metabolic alkalosis. Several questions should arise. The first question that should be crossing your mind is, 